Students, here we are to talk about one of the most important emergencies that an LDN or anyone in the medical profession may face. The emergency is hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, life-threatening, life-threatening. Few things in life that you have to respond in a matter of moments that make a big difference, this is one of them. Okay, here we go. Now, what, what are some numbers that we can have? The textbook, the Linton textbook, will describe the beginning of hypoglycemia at about 70 and below. Um, that can vary a little bit. People respond a little bit differently with their sugar levels. But 70, 40, 30, downward spiral. Downward spiral. And at the end of the downward spiral can be seizures, coma, death. Therefore, the nurse needs to, know, needs to know how to respond to this situation. Perhaps it would be wise for us to be able to consider some of the triggers that may trigger such a life-threatening event. Well, what if the patient had too much insulin? Remember, insulin lowers the blood sugar. If they have too much insulin, not enough food, remember food raises the blood sugar level. If they don't have enough food, the blood sugar level may not be up. Too much insulin, the blood sugar goes down, hypoglycemia. Another, another issue is inconsistent exercise pattern. If you exercise, if you're a diabetic on insulin, and you exercise when the insulin has its peak effect, that is a recipe for hypoglycemia. Exercising when the insulin has a peak effect is a recipe for hypoglycemia. Now, what should the nurse be able to do? The nurse must be able to anticipate a hypoglycemic episode, identify it when it's happening, and treat it. Failure to treat a hypoglycemic episode may result in a patient dying. Okay, now, anticipate. If we have a patient who's on exogenous insulin, getting insulin shots, we know that they're at risk for a hypoglycemic episode. Also we know, if a patient is taking oral hypoglycemics such as sulfonylureas, they're at risk for a hypoglycemic episode. So we want to make sure that we know our diabetics on the floor, on the ward, and those on insulin, sulfonylureas, because they're at risk for a hypoglycemic episode. Now number two, you want to be able to identify clearly. You want to know exactly, by just looking at the patient, signs and symptoms, even before you do a finger stick, that that patient's having a hypoglycemic episode. Lastly, what do you do about the problems in seconds count? And we're going to talk about what foods, if you will, what carbohydrates we give to the patient to bring them out and to prevent this from happening. Okay, again, this is an emergency, hypoglycemia, hypoglycemic episode is an emergency where the nurse must respond. Thank you for listening.